After much anticipation, the federal budget address was delivered last week with many questions swirling about its impact on the housing market. There are four main areas that investors and owner occupiers should be aware of in this budget and they include the following. Number one, the extension of the first home loan deposit scheme. Under the, the changes of the announcement, there's been an additional 10,000 places which have been made available, but they're only available to the purchasers of newly built property. To further incentivise Australians to purchase new properties, the government has also increased the state thresholds on the purchase prices significantly. In addition to this, the states have actually jumped on board. Uh, for example, the New South Wales government has increased the stamp duty threshold from $650,000 to $800,000. Second thing uh, all investors need to know is that the changes that have been proposed to responsible lending obligations. Now, why is this important? Well, it means that the government is simplifying the lending process and making it easier for borrowers to secure finance, reducing unnecessary red tape. Thirdly, the budget has also brought forward income tax cuts. Now, under the changes, low to middle income earners will receive tax relief of up to 2,745 for singles and up to 5,490 for dual income families, and that's in this financial year. This should ease the, the burden on households and improve cash flow. Lastly, a big one for the workforce, the government has made changes to the availability of JobKeeper and also JobSeeker. They've both been extended to March 2021, albeit in a tapered form. Overall, these initiatives will make it easier for Australians to purchase property. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.